Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to select values from the static drop-down. So in last video, we have seen example of this IRCDC website. And uh, in that example, we have selected this value Pune, then two value Nagpur, and also we have selected this Tatkal value. Right? And all these values are from drop-down. Now in this video, we will see how to select value from these checkboxes. So we'll select a value from these checkboxes and we'll click on this search button. So see. So I'm closing it. Same program will continue. Now see what we want to do. We want to select checkboxes, right? Before that, one thing we'll do. Suppose we want to check how many checkboxes are there or what are the checkboxes those are available. Now see. So see, I'm clicking here and inspecting it. Now see, so here if I take, when I am taking cursor over here, so all checkboxes are getting selected, right? Now see, we will create XPath based on this. So here, we will create XPath based on this. So tag name div add and we will take this class. We will copy it. I am pasting here. Single code will put. Now see, so three elements are getting selected. See, uh, we want only one, right? So we are putting in a round bracket. And we will check. First one, see now one element matching and this is getting selected, right? This is getting selected. Now see, we will uh, take will print text from the checkboxes. So now we will use it. So what we will do, we will we'll print checkboxes. Now see all the checkboxes we want to print, right? But whatever the things that you will get, whatever the text that you will get, that will form a list, right? That will form a list. And for that purpose, we have to create list. Now see, suppose I am creating list L is equal to driver dot now see find elements see in previous case here we are used find element method here we are using find elements find elements so this method we are using see here you can see it is returning what list list of web element right it is returning list of web element so see that i am selecting now see by dot xpath here we will provide this x path. Now see we are taking those values and that we are saving in a list. Now see it is showing a red line. So we will see. So we have to import one. We have to import package for this list. Now see. So it is not showing but see. We will do this. So actually it is a java.util. It is java.util. So no need to put this. Is java.util.list now see so again it is showing red line so it is showing change type to list webmaster so we will do that so see it is done now see we are getting this list in L right now we want to print those values so see that thing will do so for that purpose we will use enhance for loop so that also you will see see for Every element is what it is of type web element, right? So web element. Suppose I am taking i, and we are taking this value from this l, right? So that's why I am putting like this. So i, this is a type web element. I am taking one one value from this l list, and here I am printing the value. We will print value g. That value will get in i and that we want to put right so from i we have to call get text method get text method right and that value will get and that will print on the screen so see now we will run our program
Ça, c'est... So see, uh, what was the previous program was there? It has selected Pune, Nagpur, and Tatkal also, and we want to print on our screen, right? So we'll close it, and here you can see, see what are the the check uh, check boxes were there. So all all values we got here, right? Now what we want, we want to choose, we want to click, we want to select one check box, right? So that will do. So we'll select one check box. Suppose you want to choose this checkbox, okay? It's flexible with the date. Now see, we'll inspect this. Flexible with the date, we'll inspect it. We have to click on this. So see, when I'm taking here, so it is getting selected. So we'll create export based on this. Now see, so slash label and we'll use text. Text, see, already it is showing here. So We'll select from here now see text flexible with date so see one element matching and it is getting selected right so we we'll use this x bar. so i'm selecting this we'll use in our program so driver dot find element by dot x path here we'll put this now see what we want to do we want to click on it let us see here, here also we will add some waiting time so see i have copied here now we will run our program So here you can see, see this was our previous program and this flexible with date, this checkbox also is getting selected. So like this, we can select any checkbox. Now see after that, what we want, we want to click on this search button. So that also will do. So see, so we have to create export for this search button, right? So that will do. So right click on this inspector we got code for this right so when i take cursor over here so it is getting selected so we'll create x path for this button so see best way we'll use this text okay so see uh, we'll create x path for this so see button and uh, here we'll write text so see that we are done now see if i check here so one element matching right so it is getting selected right so now we'll use this x path so see after this we want to click button search button now see so again uh, better we'll add that waiting time And after that, we will add here driver dot find element by dot x path. Here in double quote, we will paste it. And what we want to do, we want to click here, right? We want to click here. So we will call click method. Now, see. so we have done. Now we will run this. So see is getting maximized pune is selected nagpur is selected tatkar is selected then the checkbox is selected and it clicked on search button and here we got the result right so everything we have automated so see so in this video what we have done so previously we have selected some values from the static drop down and in this case in this program we have seen how to select values from the checkboxes and also here we have printed all the values from the checkboxes then here we have selected one value from the checkbox and then we have clicked on this search button so in this way we have automated this thing
सो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ एज ने क्लिक ऑन लाइक सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो स्टे कनेक्टेड थैंक यू